This is a Zeppelin bend, my favorite, because it really is easy to tie. And I don't do videos on how to tie knots, but in this case, I'm going to demonstrate how easy this is to tie. I think it's, to me, a very desirable knot because it's so easy to break open after you've put a real heavy load on this. It just breaks open, comes apart so easy. It's a very secure knot. It's a very um, symmetrical knot. And I've just put uh, figure eight stopper knots on both sides. And what I've done too is when I put a stopper knot on here, I've staggered the stopper knot so that the volume of this when you're pulling it through the crotch or over a branch is less. Everything kind of fits together. So there's a stopper knot there, stopper knot here, and I've also put in the Alpine Butterfly where you can put the carabiner, give yourself something to clip into. The structure of this knot also makes it fairly easy to pull it up and over a branch. It bends really well and comes up and over over the crotch or over your branch. If you have 200 feet of climbing line hanging down there and there's 20 pounds of, of uh, climbing line on that, it still comes up and over the top pretty well. This is how I tie the Zeppelin bend. The Zeppelin bend I find to be very easy to tie. It's very easy to remember if you remember one simple concept. So many of the videos I've seen it seems like it's difficult to hold the knot in place or it's difficult to remember all the procedures you need to make to do the, to do the knot. It's really a very simple knot. And all you have to remember to start with is this left overhand loop. I'm turning it to my left and it goes overhand. So it's a left overhand loop. That's all you need to remember for this knot. The rest of it will follow and make sense. So I start with a left overhand loop. With the up rope, it makes a right underhand loop. So there's the left overhand loop. That's all you have to remember. And after that, it just makes sense. You're doing the opposite. You'll do a right underhand loop. You put the two loops, one on top of the other. Now all I do is I pass the tails through the hole. Just pass those tails through the hole. You give the tails a tug and you set the knot and you have the perfect Zeppelin bend. Remember to tie some form of a stopper knot. I'll either tie a, a figure eight on there or you can tie a, um, well, any kind of a stopper knot. You can put a double overhand stopper knot on there if you'd like. Some form of stopper knot on the tails. There's a figure eight, there's a double overhand stopper knot, and then you can tie, if you'd like, to make it safer to pass, tie an alpine butterfly just below the zeppelin bend. And again, the alpine butterfly is very easy to untie after it's been loaded. And the alpine butterfly will give you a place to clip in while you're passing the knot to make it safe pass the knot. The um, Zeppelin bend also, I think I mentioned, is very easy to untie. Okay, the, the great thing about the Zeppelin bend is after it's been really loaded hard, it's so easy to break this open. You can always just break it open, break it open on both sides. It's so easy to untie the knot after it's been loaded. This is a flat overhand bend. Sometimes it's referred to as the European death knot. It's uh, not one that I'm probably going to use. But the uh, one advantage, and you can always still do an alpine butterfly just be below the knot for a place to tie off your carabiner. It goes through there and it makes a great place to tie off when you're passing when you're passing the knot. The one advantage to this knot when it comes to the others is that it's probably the easiest to pull up and over a crotch or a branch when you're setting your line.
Okay, this again is a triple fisherman's. It's got a uh, overhand knot for stopper knots at each end. And uh, for uh, tying in and security while you're bypassing the knot, I put an alpine butterfly. One disadvantage with the triple fisherman's is it's a little bit more difficult to pull up over the crotch. All right, this is a triple double fisherman's knot. And I've got a spliced end with a carabiner. That makes it really nice when you're putting ropes together to do a long ascent. You have the carabiner to tie off on while you're making your changeover passing the knot. The nice thing about the triple double fisherman's knot is that it's much easier to untie. It's not that it's more secure or anything, although it is more secure. The real advantage is that it gives you added ability to uh, untie that when it's been and when it's been uh, weighted 